Hey guys, Lindsay Bowden here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a number line using PowerPoint that you can use in your worksheets or resources, and you can use it again and again. So let's get started. This is going to be a super quick, easy video. All right, so I'm going to open up PowerPoint here, and I have a blank presentation. So I'm going to start with just inserting a line. So I'm going to go to Insert, Shapes. I'm going to pick this one. And if you hold the shift key down as you click and drag to draw your line, it will keep it completely horizontal for you. Okay, so I'm going to move it to the center and I'm going to format it a little bit. So I'm going to make it black and thicker. All right, that looks good to me. All right, let me zoom in here a little bit so we can see. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tick marks on the line. So I'm going to do that with this guy, the line segment. All right, so I'm going to open up my formatting tool. I'm going to make it black and you can make it whatever thickness you want. So if you want like, you know, one dark and then one light, one dark, one light, you can do it that way. I'm going to make them all about one point and I'm going to make sure that it is completely straight up and down. And let's see, that height looks about good. Yes, I like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is duplicate that a bunch of times. So let's see, I probably want one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say seven. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my last mark. Make sure it's good. And then I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to align them. So I'm going to align them using the Arrange tool to the top. And then I'm going to distribute them horizontally. And now they're all equally spaced out. And again, if you want to make like each, every other one shorter, you can do that. You can select them all, open up your format shape. So let's say I want to make these um, 0.15. You can do that, you know, however you want to format it, you can. And then let's add our numbers. All right, so I'm going to open up a text box. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do positive numbers for this one. And I'm going to change the font to a font that I like. And I'm going to make it bold and whatever font size that I want. And I'm going to start that here. I'm going to make this one too. So I'm going to do the in between ones as 0.5s. And as I'm duplicating it, a lot of times it will line it up where it thinks you want it, which is nice. All right, so now I'm going to make this one 1.5. And if you wanted to make this, you know, smaller since it's a half, whatever you want. As far as formatting, duplicate that, 2.5. It won't, when you duplicate the first one, it won't put it where it thinks it should go, but after the second one, it should. And to duplicate on your keyboard, I'm just pressing Command D. I'm on a Mac. If you were on a PC, you would press Control D. Okay, so I want to make sure that all of these are aligned. So I'm going to go to Design. Let's see, back to Home, sorry. Let me drag this out a little bit. There it is. Arrange, align, top. And I want to make sure they are all distributed like I want them. Let's see. I'm going to line these up because they're a little bit smaller. They got off a little bit. Okay. That looks good to me. I don't actually like these different fonts. So I'm going to make these all the same font. There. That looks better. Okay. So once you have your number line set up like you want, you want to highlight everything. So just click and drag, and then you're going to group them all together. So you can right click and group. You can also use this keyboard shortcut. That's what I use. So this is um, command option G on a Mac. I'm not sure what it is on a PC, but if you right click group, it'll show you what the shortcut is. And now that is all together so I can move it around. Now let's say that I need a new number line for a different resource or just a different problem. I'm going to duplicate this. And now I can go in and just change the numbers, but everything else is pretty much already done. So it's not going to take me as long 
Now I can just do whole numbers if I want. Just adjust them a little bit. And then I can go back and change those in between ones so that they are, I think it was 0.25. And then I'm going to move these up a little bit. But you're not starting from scratch, which is nice. All right, let's move those up a little bit. All right, and there you go. So that is how I make number lines for all my resources. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.